Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the uh, remainder of July 2020. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they do. Uh, also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal or a private reading, uh, just be sure to check the description box on ways to do so. Um, all right, so central issue, heart of the matter. We have the Four of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Fool. We have the Ten of Wands, Ace of Swords, Magician, Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. Okay, so <sighs> central issue I feel is about getting clarity. Um, I feel like there is a need to maybe take some time to yourself, clear your mind so that you can know what it is that you're wanting in a relationship. Now, it also looks like it looks like you're in time out. <laughs> of relationships or your partner and like I said is I feel like this is because you're needing to clear your mind you're needing to, to think make some sort of decisions I, now it, it looks too like you may have been dreaming about someone maybe you've been dreaming about an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn or an earth sign could be thinking about you Um, I feel too like there's someone that may be at a distance or there's something foreign or unusual about the person that you're currently dealing with or getting ready to deal with. Somebody is definitely coming off as free-spirited and um, not really wanting any strings attached so if that's not you, then this could be the person coming towards you. I feel like they're a free spirit. Someone does come off as a loner or someone who is like a gypsy. Someone has like gypsy energy. I feel like they're, they move from place to place. It looks like you've also kind of been feeling alone like you've been searching for clues or searching for answers in regards to who you are and the type of person that you should be with i feel like some of you also have been maybe reading your own cards or just getting readings in general um and it's like you're following some sort of clues or maybe you feel like spiritually clues have been left out for you and that's what you've been going on. So it does look like spirit has been leaving little clues out for you to figure out um, something in regards to your relationship or maybe, um, you know, whatever your situation is, if you're in a relationship and you were searching for answers, um, it either way, I feel like you're going to have clarity about your situation. Now, someone's also been communicating indirectly or in ways that are very clever or tricky. So someone may be uh, communicating with you indirectly. Uh, I always feel like there is a need to be careful when you're if you're doing online dating and I see the magician um, because, you know, the magician magician plays games. Uh, they're an illusionist. They make you believe certain things that aren't real. Um, you also might just have clarity to see through someone's BS. Um, maybe you're quite aware of it, but don't care. Uh, but if you don't, I'm warning you to be careful because somebody does like to switch things up. Somebody uh, twists words or they're very good at 
uh, deflecting the truth. If you confront this person, they're going to flip it back on you some type of way um, or make, make you forget what you were even thinking about or asking about. They're very tricky, this person. Uh, if you're in a relationship, I feel that it is a facade. Um, like someone is creating some sort of perfect reality. Um, and I, I feel like that's not the truth. So if you're in a relationship, you could be posting pictures, making it seem like you guys are living a life, um, super happy, but there could be some other things going on. It's not even that it seems like it's bad behind the scenes, just that something about what's being projected is not real. If you are single and you happen to meet this person and you have a connection with them, this person is still obligated to um, their somebody else. Um, I feel like they have a family or a baby's mom. There is somebody else in the picture that it's already been established with. So be mindful of that. Or somebody might convince you maybe they're they're very good because the magician is also just a very good salesman. Um, and somebody could convince you to get involved with, you know, a relationship that's already established. I feel like somebody is the ideal person for you, but what they're selling you might not be true. And this person could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Mm. Okay, so I also feel that you need to be careful with who you're talking to because I almost feel like somebody is using you to get through to another person. Um, I, I feel like either an earth sign is using you to get through to an air sign or vice versa. So be cautious of who you get involved with. You may have already intuitive, intuitively felt something was off. Hmm. It also could be a situation where you think you're talking to an earth sign, but you're talking to an air sign. Something very tricky is going on. I mean, on a positive note, you might just be involved with someone who's a strong businessman or woman or someone who is um, very technical savvy, even to the point where they know how to hack. Somebody knows computer coding. So I feel that somebody has been watching you or observing you for a while. Somebody is learning about your personality from a distance, but I don't know what their motives are. Somebody might be trying to use something against you, so be careful what you share on the internet. Somebody might be using something to turn it against you. Um, Now, I also see that some of you have not fully moved on from somebody from the past, but you want to. And I feel like you're distracting yourself by dating other people. So you would be the one um, really being the user because you're trying to just use pe these people to move on from someone else and hoping that, and maybe your intentions is good, like hoping that maybe something good comes out of it or maybe it will become something serious but i feel that you might just be if you're dating people and you're trying to get over uh someone i feel like they're just distractions for now
I feel like you guys are definitely um, doing some soul searching. I feel like you're trying to understand. If you're having a hard time moving on from someone, I feel like you're trying to understand why. You're like, why can't I detach from this energy? Um, why do I still keep dreaming about this person or thinking about this person or seeing signs and syn synchronicities about this person if we're not together? Um, but you are being led, though. It's for a reason. Like, this is your, your spirit's way of helping you discover what you're supposed to be doing. So you might have one of those situations where love is being used to get you on your spiritual path. You might definitely be looking more into astrology or you're doing some sort of research, any type of research. You might be studying dreams and metaphysics, matter of fact. Um, is I feel like something um, takes you, uh, gets your, piques your interest. Now, I feel too that the things that you're learning about yourself could be just a little disturbing because I, I see you getting triggered. Um, so you might start having some sort of emotional, um, what do you call it? Suffering from some sort of um, paranoia, um, your abandonment or trust issues might get triggered. Anxiety, that's that's what I'm picking up. Um, maybe so you're discovering too that somebody is bipolar, like whether it's yourself or the person that you are dealing with or the person that comes into your life. Something could happen where you're like, that's another thing. It's like, why is this person always switching up? Why is their personality always switching up? Um, and it very well could be because someone is either bipolar or has, um, I think, DID. So it's, it's some sort of personality that's disorder um, that you could be dealing with. Maybe you are already in this relationship and that's the secret. That's the thing that you're suppressing. Like maybe your partner is really someone who is struggling, but you are putting on this perfect image as if your partner is perfect or your relationship is perfect. Uh, but you or one of you is, you know, trying to cope with somebody having some sort of emotional um, issues or um, mental issues. Either way, I still feel that whoever comes into your life or whoever you're dealing with is still to get you to face your past. Because you may have been in denial about something. Looks like you, you've been avoiding your past or just in denial about what you really have been feeling. is something that you've been suppressing. So I feel like some of you have been traumatized. And if it's not you, then maybe the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with. But I feel like somebody is trying to suppress some sort of past trauma and just keeps trying to dig it, uh, bury it deeper and deeper within the subconscious. But it's like, no, you have to deal with this. You have to face this. If you meet someone and you're, you feel such a deep connection to them or just this mysterious magnetic pool, um, I, I feel like that is so that you can start exploring um, your shadow side. It, it looks like you're you're exploring things within yourself and they're helping you to discover that because without them, you may not have realized that you were suppressing uh, these feelings or these memories. So they're here to bring that out of you. And it looks like maybe somebody tried to give you some advice or tell you something before and you didn't want to listen. Um, or maybe you just were so engrossed into something else emotionally, it went right over your head. Something went over your head that spirit was trying to prepare you for or warn you about. Yeah, you might be asking yourself, why didn't you listen? Um, I also get the energy of someone who's coming off as very shy or suffers from anxiety, social anxiety. Um, somebody is like, I don't want to go out and talk to people or they want to talk to you, but they can't seem to find the courage to do so. 
I feel like you guys also might be experiencing a lot of a lot of unusual dreams and I think these dreams are going to be tied in or connected to your past life like some sort of information to help you remember something. I feel like spirit is trying to get you to remember. You are also going to be get confirmations about your suspicions, something that you were suspicious about, I feel like it will be confirmed. For some reason, it looks like you're also being faced with some sort of offer that you're you're suppressing, um, especially too if it's coming from an earth sign. I feel like you you're interested, but you're like, no, I don't want to look at this person this way, or I shouldn't. So I don't know what your reason is for trying to suppress your thoughts or uh, or your desires about this person or this offer, but you are. I feel like you might be afraid of being exposed or being vulner vulnerable again, um, especially if someone took advantage of your kindness in the past. I feel like you are just trying to hide, but something happens where it comes out. Whatever it is that you're trying to emotionally suppress is going to just kind of erupt before the next two weeks are out, I feel. But it's good. You need to have some sort of emotion, emotional uh, purge or cleansing. So those are the messages that I'm picking up for you guys. Hopefully it uh, resonates or it will resonate. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you all love and grace.